Hey everybody, this is Rado, and we are back to another live stream slash recording of Hearthstone. Today is Saturday, May 30th. We're almost done with May. Today, and potentially this day only, we get a free card, which is the 6 mana, 4 attack, 4 health card called the Fight Promoter. If you control a minion with 6 or more health, draw 2 cards. Uh, interesting. I want to look at that before I do anything else. Hmm. We had some weirdness, certainly, I guess. Like, I, there was a watch and learn three days ago, which got me this. So we might as well open this card pack to start off with. And let's see. Golden Legendaries? Nope. So, more classic cards for probably dust collection and that's it let's come over here disenchant all five of them for another 40 dust it's very very consistent these days when I open that classic card pack and it will be until I just open enough I suppose I could try my luck and see if possibly I could uh, open 50 classic card packs and, and hope to get three, maybe even four, if I'm extremely lucky, uh, legendary cards. Otherwise, it would just be all towards dust, which would be a terrible idea. Next expansion, instead of buying just what we normally would have. Hmm. And this is a fight promoter card from the mean streets of Gadget Sand. And so if you had just, for example, already had two of these from the mean streets of Gadget Sand, then you would have just disenchanted it for a hundred. It's an epic. Are they going to start promoting on the weekends just epic expansions? Uh, like play on the weekend so we'll, we'll give you a free epic card if you do that would be nice that'd be a very nice change of just a way to improve things so i need to play 30 battle cry minions which i can do i believe with my mage deck and uh win five games with a paladin or play 50 paladin class cards so maybe i could do some games with the priest uh, there's a little bit of a confliction there in my decks with my Paladin because I have two Paladin decks. One is the Murlocs, which won't have any Paladin cards in it, really, or very, very little of them. And then the other Paladin deck I believe I have is the Shields Up deck. Where is that? Hmm. Where is my shield stick? Yeah, and battle cry. Here it is. Shield silver. So I need to play with this one. We haven't gotten a patch yet for an ability to copy these, though. Which would be nice if we could, but. Not yet. I suppose that that will show up in the new patch. Do we have a tavern brawl we haven't done? I, nope. We've already done that. So we're not going to do too much on this. Uh, again, last stream I, I said it, but frankly nobody came on last stream. And that really was just because YouTube didn't announce that I was streaming. And... This time I know that it announced when through the email, but I don't know if it went through the notification system because uh, in what can only be described as an amazingly stupid uh, rule, you can't follow and subscribe yourself. So when I set my YouTube app on my phone to... Uh, to be able to chat as myself and follow the chat 
uh, as my own account, I don't get notifications that I just went live. Which, by default, you would think doesn't matter. You should know if you just went live. But that's not the question, really. The question is, did YouTube announce that I w just went live? Uh, so, I may very well be making the same mistake I did before last time. The light protects me. But, we'll move forward with just the assumption that everything is going. I have got the maximum amount of chat open, too. So I'm still trying to fix that issue. I have it open on my Chrome browser, on my cell phone that I'm looking at by default. I have it open on the Chrome browser on my PC, which I would have to alt-tab to see. And I have it open on the YouTube browser also. So I should be able to see anything that pops up. Let's see. Anybody online? Any new thing? No, nobody's online for a while. Hmm. Which is weird because they specifically wanted people online. I'm playing right now at about 4 p.m. in the evening, which is... Alright, maybe a little late. I would okay. certainly say that there's a chance there that it's, it's a little late for normal people, but for me it's kind of early. I have not too much to talk about as we're working our way to E3. Less and less is getting announced. Although I am noticing that some things are coming out and getting published and like released to get out of the way of E3. Let's go ahead and kill this guy and meet this guy because I don't need to do that. So, hmm. I'm a little tempted to take it easy, but I, I think maybe I should just kind of rush through the things anyways. Like, Like, if I rush through the regular news... Let's go ahead and see, this is an explosive trap. That's what I figured. That's alright, we're nowhere. We're not in a bad position. Like, if I rush through all the news at the beginning and nobody comes online and nobody wants to play me once we get that new patch where we can play people to do all the quests uh, I feel like time will be better spent if if not just by default that it becomes a lot easier to get things done alright let's do this the battle this this. This. Reporting for duty. And charge that. And in the turn. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of confused. Like, should I go through the the news as fast as possible, or should I take a, a little bit laid back? Because we got some work to do here. I've got to get five victories on the Paladin and play 50 Paladin cards. Which, even though I do have a lot of these Silverhand recruits around, that doesn't particularly mean the, Don't worry, the Paladin the cards are working. Are getting played because I got five of these specifically here. Uh, the battle. let's see, should I kill this with, for three, or do three damage? The battle. The battle. I think I'll just continue doing damage to the face. Um, a lot of news about Destiny 2, I suppose. Destiny 2 will only be playable on PC via Battle.net. 
which it seems incredibly strange considering that Blizzard didn't make Destiny 2. As far as I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the creators and workers of Destiny is three, five, three industries. The, the people who originally the made, battle. I think, the, battle. the, the battle. Halo series. The so, that seems very strange, but I guess it's just kind of a publishing licensing deal. Now, this is the ultimate fear of having multiple launchers and getting things more and more away from Steam. Uh, because, like, now I'm going to potentially, if I was going to play Destiny, which I probably am not, because it's going to be this rather long-winded uh, kind of grindy mm -hmm. game. Something akin to like Borderlands but something that goes on forever and that doesn't really appeal to me. One of the major appeals of the Borderlands series is there actually is an end even if you do want to play the game two or three times uh, in a mm -hmm. row. There's still a complete and linear story that makes sense of some sort. Um, Destiny is also going to uh, come out on PC after it comes out on consoles, so the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. That's not incredibly surprising, but uh, uh, it's kind of a sad statement. I figure... In particular, this just puts the, them in a bad position because they're they're risking a very high chance of people not buying it on consoles, and then they're going to come back and say, "Well, the console sales weren't good, and thus the game is not good." I only played five Paladin cards in that game. Wow. Uh, so ten more games. Like that, it seems. Like, ideally, since one assumes there's going to be crossplay, uh, you would want it to come out at the same time. People with PCs that want to play it at a higher resolution and all of that will be <laughs> fine with that, and that will work fine. Uh, I'm not even again. sure if there's really any or much player versus player in Destiny. I think it's mostly more of a co-op thing where you uh, cooperate and fight against enemy AI. So the cross-play between using a controller and a, uh, a mouse and keyboard shouldn't really even be too much of an issue in Destiny 2. Uh, but let's see let's do this one first but that was the decision and hopefully it doesn't affect how they feel that game sells I wouldn't be surprised if Destiny 2 doesn't succeed very well because Destiny 1 was promising a lot of things that it did not deliver for example having a 10 year a uh, 10-year lifespan on that first game that they were just going to constantly patch and fix. But in mess stories came out that it was actually incredibly difficult to work on Destiny. Uh, on Destiny 1 because they had a terrible like system of, of updating... Uh, so bad that if you, for example, updated a single rock uh, in the environment, you had to wait 24 hours, is the rumor, before you could see the update or the change. There was just no dynamic level building. Uh, and then it was Destiny 1 was hugely ambitious that you build all different planets in our solar system and do all kinds of things that just... Didn't really happen. Uh, 
and there were just a few areas uh, probably a decent amount of areas you go to and you take on missions and then you run through the same area over and over again uh, compared to something like Borderlands where at most you go through the same area twice you or you may be in the same uh, map four times but because but sometimes the map will ask you to go one direction and sometimes the map will ask you to go a different right. direction reporting for duty reporting for duty the battle for justice let's say i'm gonna get these victories way before i play the cards because destiny is only going to be available through battle.net this has also risen the WoW token prices to record heights because you can use WoW tokens to buy Destiny, I suppose. So there's a decent collection, I would imagine, of people that, that may have just been sitting on a major amount of, of money. Let's see. Charge Divine Shield or Divine Shield. This, protects me. this, well and this. Reporting for two we'll just go ahead and kill this one Reporting too. For two uh, so y I assume people are going to use that specifically to buy the game and not to buy the DLC that will be in the game. And oh, by the way, I've been saying Battle.net this whole time because Blizzard has been saying Battle.net. But they're saying that's only an exception and they still want to call it the Blizzard service for everything else. Which seems like ridiculousness that you, if you're going to put your foot down and say don't call it Battle.net, we've changed the name to just Blizzard Network. Uh, that's fine. We have a new guy named Walter on the chat saying hello, so I'll say hello back. Uh, let's see, I need to play more of these cards. Give your silver hand recruits plus one, plus one. Let's do this. Reporting for duty. And do Two this. Men. And then I play fight. this, the this, Be this. And this, and I'm just going to end the turn because I can't do anything else. Uh, so, at least now I know the chat is moderately working because I see one person say hello. Moving on to the next news story. Be uh, because uh, the might as well just rush through them all. I guess I could pay a little bit more attention to my gameplay here, since I know there isn't too many stories to happen. Ah, you refilled his health, which gives me a lovely opportunity to do something here. Let's get rid of this guy so I can do this. So I can kill Duty calls. this the and battle. this. So I can do this. For duty. Attack here. Attack. Be Attack. In the turn. Uh, ABC did a 2020 report demonizing video games, which honestly, it, it's nowadays, it, and a report like this seems quaint and archaic. Uh, and ridiculous it, it's really just demonizing new media and I'm not talking like YouTube new media I'm just talking people are playing video games more than they're watching particularly ABC ABC's 2020 and because of that they're trying to strike back and and say things that are just blatantly untrue uh, and it's sad and pathetic the and and demonstratively wrong. Glory to the there we go. That's a 12-12. 
Can I kill this one with enough cards? Yes, I can. Play this card. Be purged. The battle for justice. There we go. Um, there. I didn't even see the ABC report. It's it's really not in my wheelhouse to watch a news, local news particularly. Uh, although that's more of a national news thing when they do a 2020 report in prime time. But they're just, it's really just for old people. And I'm surprised they're not, uh, they're not doing something against the fidget spinners. If, if you really want to demonize something like they used to demonize music and rock and roll and comic books and all of that, go after the fidget spinners and the fact that, uh, that well a lot of schools have just turned into blatantly, uh, dangerously close to Nazi regime regimes and they they literally a kid was was arrested for bringing a fidget spinner to his class uh, from what it, well, the article I saw a headline from uh, there's there's your real demonization is the people that are supposed to be educating your kids and now are now threatening them with jail time or worse uh, more and more the school system is, has become more like a jail system and a danger. And at a certain point, you have to wonder, maybe I should just homeschool my own child just to keep them away from the lunatics that, that think they can do anything to your child. Uh, uh, there was a story just the other day where a kid brought their parents cell phone to school and the principal of the school said that they weren't going to give the cell phone to the parent back and and they had to get lawyers involved and call the superintendent and say look if you don't give this back to me by the time I pick up my kid at the end of school I'm going to file a police report for this blatant theft uh, the battle which, I mean, I don't even know what principals are thinking half the time. It seems like they've all, all gone power mad. So, let's see, let's go ahead and just kill this one. I mostly just want to continue, continue the game. and play more Paladin cards. Uh, a new Prey glitch moving on. Uh, by the way, just to say it out, like you can't be addicted to video games. Uh, you just can't. Addiction means that your brain it becomes dependent on a chemical that is supplied that your brain can't, can't produce by itself. So, literally, if somebody played video games for 30 years, every day, as much as possible, if the next day their video game consoles were taken away from them and they couldn't play video games at all, their brain isn't going to need whatever endorphins or chemicals or happiness that they're gone there. They will be sad about it, probably, but uh, there's literally just no dependency there, which is the same argument that disproves that you can be addicted to marijuana is because there's just no dependency on THC or MDM or whatever it is. MDM. I don't think it's MDMA. Uh, like compared to alcohol, where if you are actually addicted to alcohol, you can't just stop drinking alcohol because your body will go into shock. In fact, they often prescribe alcoholics to be given intravenously alcohol 
in the during surgeries. So there, that's the difference. On top of that, the Diagnostic Statistics Manual, the DSM, uh, newest version, specifically looked at video games under mental conditions as an addiction, and they specifically decided not to include it because they saw no reason to include it. Now, there are obsessive consuls, uh, compulsive disorder. And people can have that, and that can display itself in any number of infinite ways. So you can be OCD and want to paint your house. You can be OCD and want to play video games. You can be OCD and uh, want to uh, drink water. Uh, you can be OCD and do anything. So that's potentially where somebody might actually be diagnosable and still uh, as uh, and and seem like they're addicted to video games but they're not they're just obsessing over something and often if you're OCD you could go from one thing to the other which then again makes it not an addiction to a specific thing so if you had OCD and you played video games and then you got the video games turned, taken away, you would just be OCD on something else. And again, that's not an addiction to one specific thing. So the whole idea is ridiculous. Now, on the other hand, if you want to say too much video game playing is can be bad for you, sure, that is true, particularly kids who have their time regimented what? in an extremely limited way uh, and, and that gets more and more limited as they get more and more homework and, and chores and things that they're asked to do or told to do, uh, I could see that they wouldn't have as many hours in the day as they would like and it certainly could bite into their sleep time and that could be detrimental if a child is on the autistic spectrum I could see that him uh, not socializing and playing video games uh, as much as they should but that doesn't inherently or immediately demonize uh, video games and in fact video games are such a a normal touchstone in society for kids these days you will be more ostracized if you don't play video games than if you do. It's hardly the fact that anybody would be called a nerd or a geek in today's day and age for playing video games. They would be called a weirdo if or not. And it's been that way for a long time. Uh, so, uh, what might be weird nowadays is if you don't like Marvel or DC comic mo book movies you might be called a weirdo for having never heard or seen any of those whereas when I was a kid that was more of the comic book nerd style uh, all of these things have become very very ma mainstream and it's just like old time old way of thinking like old people in particular and I'm getting on the rant here but I might as well uh, just don't like new things and literally they will do all kinds of mental gymnastics to to say new things are bad uh, it's really ridiculous but it's just the case it's just the truth uh, like old people sometimes have some wisdom but a lot of times they, they're just stagnant and frankly as technology and knowledge has jumped in leaps and bounds a lot of old people's knowledge is not that useful the gates uh, are open. or it was wrong in the first place and it just worked anyways hmm. I think the depression era people might teach us a thing or two about not being crazy about buying new iPhones that's one of the lessons we could learn is to save for a rainy day or a, a dust bowl but, but a lot of their 
what they think they know is wrong, and they think they're a lot smarter than they actually are because the standard of intelligence has drastically increased. And in general, they're they're a little cranky. Let's see. Let's do this. And that. 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 I will go ahead and in this. There was a new prey glitch that was found after they fixed the last infinite material glitch. So there's now a second glitch. Now, specifically for prey, uh, I don't feel like it really matters that much. Like, I don't feel like Prey really succeeded the way they wanted it to. In all honesty, it, it, it just feels feels oh, like the, the, the game is moderately okay, but kind of has some problems. And, like, I just don't fully feel... The light protects me. Feel the feel like the game came out and was the next Bioshock, which is I suppose what I was thinking it might be. Uh, or the ne next system shock. I guess I look forward to the ne the actual next system shock, the remake of the system shock being something really good too, but since I haven't played the previous one I don't even really know too much what I'm expecting there. And so it, it may be that my love what for the Shock know? games personally ends and begins at Bioshock 1 and 2. Like, I don't even really like Bioshock Infinite that much, although I haven't played the Burial C DLC, so I'm going to do that in the next month or two. And maybe I'll find that I like that. Part two. Hmm. This will be interesting. I must Vine cleaver. Hmm. So I play this and you do this, and then this activates this. After your hero attacks, summon two one one hand silver hand recruits. Oh, I see. So I didn't quite do that right. Reporting for duty. The so battle. I do this, and Victory. play that, and play I that, fight. and in return, I'm not gonna attack yet because I want to do this. Want to give it a bunch of divine shields? This is a nice deck, if I do say so myself. Let me just alt tab out here and just make sure. Yeah, I'm going a little late here. I know. Reload the page. Make sure there's no new comments in the chat, other than the one guy that said hello. Well, I can, yeah, I can say that the YouTube app doesn't do it right. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. Back to your home. This, don't this, worry, the so I do this now. Reporting for duty. And that should give them both shields. I fight. Do that. I should give you. one more shield there. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I really didn't go through too much of my story. I went into the rant of like video games being addictive. If, in all honesty, if somebody really loves something, regardless of what it is. Yeah, for me that is video games. I think I still very much love video games. I've, I, they've almost always been a major part of my life. I, there was a few, few years when I was working very hard and I didn't 
play video games for a couple of years, but I wanted to, or I was playing games on my cell phone still. But if somebody really takes that away from you, or tries to take that away from you, I mean, you're not being a very nice person or a good friend to them. And if that person does lose the thing they love, it's not like they're going to find something to replace it that they... Well, they might find something to replace it, but they're the not going to be happy about it. it the, uh, they're more, you're more likely the to, to depress your, your, the person you take games away from than put them in some kind of situation where they do something better with their life, whatever that means. That's not going to happen. Uh, they're going to get depressed and they're going to give up and not want anything. Uh, not want and, and be upset. That's just what happens when you lose something. Uh, so, we've made, I guess, a decent amount of progress on these two. And that's even made some battle cry progress. We're going to have to stick with the same deck until I play all the paladin cards and that will probably just then require me to play a little bit of battle cry but i don't even want to do battle cry until i've gotten all the paladin cards played if you're watching live please stay tuned if you're watching this recorded as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.